All right, so just testing these two new props that I ordered, uh, the Genfan 3035 by 4 and this one's the Dow T3545BN. Uh, this one looks like it's based off uh, 5040 uh, and just been chopped off, you know, uh, it's just been uh, cut off, but it does have 44.5 uh, pitch. So not quite, uh, you know, not quite from the 5040, but it's very similar uh, as far as the uh, the shape of the blade is. And this one from Gen Fan, uh, there's no other equal. It's like their own design. Uh, so if you wanna compare it to the Team Racecraft, uh, you can see the blades are uh, they they have about the same area, but uh, the profile is different uh, and as far as material this one feels like it almost doesn't weigh anything but it is it is a little bit it's kind of flexy uh, but you know for these small small quads that are very light I, I don't think that'll pose much of an issue you know it's being so flexy like that uh, compared to the Team Racecraft, uh, this one is a lot stiffer from from the middle to the tip, is, and whereas this one it just feels more flexible, and it, it, it flexes from closer to the hub. So I think it's just because th these are much thinner. And this one, this one's pretty heavy. Uh, it's, it's a really heavy prop, and it's uh, it's quite stiff. So I don't know how well they would do on these motors. The one thing to keep an eye for on with these is that because they're so they're so stiff, when you crash, uh, you end up bending the shaft. So that's that's one thing to watch out for. I've I've only heard of that happening to a few people, but you know I don't. I can't really confirm that it's because of the because of the prop, but that's just something to keep you know to keep in mind. Uh, compared to the Mel, uh, Militia Brothers, of course you get a you get a lot more prop area. So so this one will, will do more thrust, but uh, it'll just by looking at it, but uh, it'll be less efficient because of the. The straight edge tips. Uh, this creates a lot of turbulence and drag, so so the motors have to fight that off. But some people like them, you know, because they they do build thrust uh, kind of fast. Uh, also got the uh, 3045 version of this prop. Uh, the same uh, Dow T3045BN. So it's pretty much the same, but cut to three inches, and that's how it comes from the from Dow. Surveil zone, and I'm also gonna test this one because I tested it in, in a couple of mo motors, so I thought I'd, I'd include it uh, for the brother hobby as well. Uh, this one's the Dow T4045 uh, V2, so it's like a miniature of the uh, T5045. It's got the same shape. It's a little bit, bit of a heavy prop. Uh, but I've seen a lot of people running this one uh, and they seem to like it but uh, I don't know it just seems like a lot of prop for this motor but uh, this motor is quite uh, versatile so uh, if people like it that means it works well so uh, let's go on to the thrust test let's see what this can do
All right, so here are the thrust test results for these uh, latest batch of uh, props uh, that I uh, that I order. Um, the Genfan 3035 by four, uh, Dal 3045 and 35 3545 uh, BN by three and 4045 by three. Uh, so this one, the Gen Fan um, uh, thrust was uh, pretty much comparable to uh, all the other uh, four blade props, uh, a little bit lower than the other ones. Uh, we'll, we'll see in the comparison. Uh, of course, this, this has a much uh, a thinner blade profile, so that's to be expected. Um, the BN props, uh, uh, due to the straight edge, I was expe you know, as expected, the amps are a little bit on the high side. Um, but we'll compare it to uh, the other um, blades that are of the same, uh, around the same size. And finally, the 4045 by 3 uh, V2. This one, I've been reading a lot of people using them and they, they say they like it. I, I always thought it was a uh, little bit too large for this motor, but apparently it works really well uh, with this size motor. Uh, of course, the, uh, the amps are showing really high here, but uh, you know, don't let that fool you, as I always say. These are static thrust tests, so they, the amps and the thrust is going to be somewhat exaggerated. Um, you know, that's because I'm using a power supply and, and the voltage remains pretty constant and it only sags very little. Uh, compared to, uh, to a LiPo that you use for flying, uh, voltage is going gonna, is gonna to sag uh, a lot more, you know, like, uh, you know, it's going to go down to 15 and a half, 15 volts or so, 14.8 volts. Uh, and also, the, you know, they're not able to deliver the same amount of current uh, to all four motors. So, so the current is going to be limited by the, by the battery. And also, you know, the props is unloaded, air, air, is, air passing through them is moving, so it's not grabbing as much air as, it, as, as if it's just standing there with all that circulating air that adds to the load. So, so you know, keep that in mind. Uh, don't let these numbers uh, scare you. So, uh, you know, roughly you can multiply this by... Uh, 0.65, uh, 0.7 or so, and that'll give you a rough idea of what to expect. Uh, it might even be even less than that. I, I haven't actually field tested uh, to see how much lower the amp draw is. I've done it for uh, larger motors, so I just kind of uh, use that those uh, those observations. So, but uh, you know, so it, uh, at this point, I'm, it's kind of like a guesstimate. All right, let's move on to the comparison with the other props. Let's see how these compare to the other props I've tested before. All right, so comparing the uh, uh, these new props uh, to the other props I've tested, uh, the four blade prop, uh, compared to the Team Racecraft 33 by four, it's a little bit down on power, but uh, somewhat uh, noticeably more efficient, uh, about four about four amps less, so that's that's pretty good. Uh, the one thing with these uh, efficient props is that uh, they suffer from lack of response, so uh, you know they might give you like really good uh, uh, efficiency numbers, but when you fly them, they, they may feel a little bit mushy and unresponsive. Like if you're, especially if you're like a, a good pilot, an advanced pilot, you, you'll you'll feel the difference. Uh, but uh, for for less advanced pilots, you know, they, they, they'll be all right. But uh, so not until you actually try them in flight, you, you'll know if you like them or not. Uh, so fortunately they're they're all sort of affordable. So, so you can always try a set and uh, and see see how you like them. Uh, and compared to the HQ, HQ is making even more thrust. Uh, of course, the uh, amps are going to be a little bit higher. Um, so you know, this still should be a good prop to try. Next one is the uh, T3045BN. Uh, I was kind of curious to see how it does against the uh, the Rotor X, and it's pretty surprising result. Uh, I was expecting less thrust and far more amps, but uh, they're pretty pretty close, actually. So that, that's quite surprising uh, for a BN prop. So uh, I don't know, it seems like maybe the scaling, uh, are, you know, there are dynamics of the scaling when you go smaller uh, for that small diameter, maybe the uh, that turbulent air uh, from the straight edge props maybe doesn't really affect the performance much. Uh, that's what I'm seeing here. Uh, but you know, I'm no, I'm no aerodynamicist, so that'd be an interesting topic to to research. But pretty complex indeed. Uh, uh, so let's look at the three and a half inch prop. Uh, 
it's on my this this right here three and a half inch prop uh the militia brothers is the three and a half inch prop that i tested and again it's uh it's uh, uh yeah noticeably more thrust ab about uh 50, about 60 more grams and the amps are not that much higher i think they're pretty proportional with uh, increasing thrust so 23.8 uh, amps versus 80.2 so that's a a little bit less than five amps, uh, so not not you know, not a lot more. So this 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 could be a manager. This could be very manageable on on a you know for a for a battery, uh, because again you have to uh, keep in mind that this is gonna go a lot lower once you're flying. So so not too bad. Uh, and then finally the the forty forty five by three. Uh, so compare that comparing that one to the Gen Fan forty forty five which. You know, I was uh, thought this was the best match for this motor, but then testing with all these other props and people flying it, uh, there's a few other props that do well too with this motor. Uh, you were seeing more thrust, and uh, right here we do see a lot more amps, about six, uh, close to six more amps. Uh, so, but people are flying this one and they they, they like it, so no doubt it's a, it's a good prop to try. Uh, it's a little bit heavy, 2.9 grams. Oh, same with this. This this seem uh, to be a little bit on the heavy side, uh, 3.1 grams and 3 grams basically. Both of these 3 grams compared to the uh, compared to the Gen Fan, it's only 1.6 or the Rotor X, which is one gram. Uh, even the Gen Fan 4045 is one and a half grams. Uh, so I don't know. You know, they're they're small props, so probably the uh, uh, the inertia is not uh, doesn't come into play at this small scale uh, as much you know as much as on a five inch prop. Uh, so only way to know is to try them. Uh, there you go. That's uh, the test results for these props. Uh, and hope you find the data useful. And thanks for watching.